Hey everyone, Jon Snow here. I'm with uh, Jennifer Snow and today we are bringing you Spotlight on the War for American Independence. Today we're going to be talking about... Deborah Sampson. Ooh, that's neat. Not a name that's often heard uh, in association with the uh, War for Independence. Who was she? Deborah Sampson was actually a soldier in the Army for the... Um, United States in the war for independence against the British and the Tories. She was really, these days, she would have been um, considered a war hero. So where, where did she come from? Like, what, 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 what's her background? Okay, Deborah came from a poor family whose, um, her father had abandoned the family, and she ended up having to be an indentured servant uh, until she was 18 years old. She was literate, um, and she had the skill of weaving. She had done a little bit of teaching um, as well after that. And then um, when the war broke out, she had a couple of different reasons for enlisting. One, obviously she was a patriot, but also, number two, she wanted to raise some family for herself and for her family because they were in pretty dire circumstances financially. Okay, so um, what year did she enlist, and what did she do once she was enlist? It. I, <laughs> 1782 um, was the, the year, right around the time, when um, she enlisted and did most of her fighting. She had tried to enlist um, initially, but they discovered that she was a woman. So she went to a different town and disguised herself as a man and was able to enlist then and um though she was from massachusetts she did most of her fighting down in new york um what kind of battles did she fight in like uh her primary opponents and things like okay. that okay well she she fought tories in harlem um these were some pretty serious tories they were taken over prisoners um kind of fellows they, um, she took a saber to the head in Harlem, and also a, um, she, she was shot in the leg, and, um, her comrades took her to a French hospital that was nearby after this battle, and, um, she took the forceps and took the shot out of her own leg so that she wouldn't be discovered that, um, that she was a female. That's pretty hardcore. She wanted, to, she wanted to stay in the army until this thing was done. Um, was she ever discovered? Funny story there. After she had um, fought with the um, Mohawks, um, they had been harrying. They were working for the British the Mohawks were, and harrying the troops. And she had fought. It was terribly, terribly cold. Um... She led the charge there at um, Colabrock at, um, oh dear, that's, I'm sorry, that's against the Tories. That's a different battle. Anyways, she ended up getting very, very ill, and the doctor discovered that um, she was a, um, was a woman, but um, this was a little bit, this was after the war um, when she was discovered. I'm sorry, I kind of went back and forth. Don't feel bad. <laughs> anyway, um... She was discovered by her doctor and the nurse. He removed her to his personal residence where he and a nurse took care of her. And then she went back um, into the peacetime army. However, the doctor did send a letter to her commanding officer. And he recommended that she still be allowed to serve. But the commanding officer didn't really go for that. And so um, she was dismissed from the military, but not dishonorably. And her comrades in arms gave her a quite amazing send off. They were they were really um, a close unit. All right. Final question: What did Miss Samson do after the war? Well, besides trying to continue in on the peacetime um, army, after she left the army, um, she went back home to Massachusetts to try and help take care of her mother and. Um, she ended up meeting um, Benjamin Gannett and um, got married. And Mr. Gannett was not a man of means. They had three children and were struggling a little bit financially. And um, she ended up going on um, speaking tours to describe to people um, 
her experience in the military while fighting for independence for the um, United States. And um, while it didn't bring in a lot of money, nonetheless, she was in her own right um, recruited for these different locations to speak um, and everything. So that was, that was pretty good. All right. Thank you but very much. She also, also oh. ended up, I'm um, sorry about that. She ended up um, having, like I said, three children, ended up having 12 grandchildren. And she ended up dying, though, in 1827, um, which is still fairly young, as a lot of the ones who fought at that time were. Okay. Thank you very much for telling us about Miss Deborah Sampson. Thank you uh, for having me on. You're very welcome. We hope you all have a wonderful, blessed day, and we will see you around.